Hello and welcome to the Hudson Valley Business Scene Show here on iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Frank Castella Jr. I'm the President and CEO for the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce. Today, we will be bringing in two guests from our community, Angela Lenuto and Allison Morelli, Associate Real Estate Brokers with the Angela Lenuto team at Coldwell Banker Village Green, along with the CEO of Habitat for Humanity of Dutchess County, Maureen Lashley, will be in with us later on in this show. But before that, I've got a lot to tell you that's happening right here in our business community. Starting out with some events at the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce, including our June Contact Breakfast, which will be Wednesday, June the 21st, starts at 7.30 in the morning at the Poughkeepsie Grand Hotel and Conference Center. At this Contact Breakfast, we normally feature a keynote presentation from a local speaker. However, this particular breakfast will highlight scholarships from throughout our community, including some supportive services as well as programming through our Chamber Foundation. We do want to thank our sponsor, Rhinebeck Bank. Business education seminar is just around the corner, so if you are an employer here in our community and you're interested in continuing your education, this is the series for you. This particular event is Wednesday, June the 21st, immediately following our contact breakfast at 9.30 in the morning, and it'll focus on navigating social media advertising. It will be presented by Richard D'Ambrosio, of Marshall and Sterling Insurance. We do want to thank KeyBank and Stanger Diamond and Glass for being our sponsors. The Chamber Foundation's annual Day of Golf Tournament is just around the corner on June the 26th. It's a Monday. Kicks off at 8 o'clock in the morning with registration with a shotgun start at 9.30 a.m. The funding from this tournament goes to benefit the Norman and Rita Nuspickle Memorial Scholarship for Supportive Services here in our community. We do want to thank NNS Supply as our Eagle sponsor of the event. We do have a business after hours on June the 29th. It's a Thursday. Runs from 5 to 7 p.m. at Dutchess Stadium Heritage Financial Park. This event is sponsored by DocuWare, Emory and Webb Insurance, Greystone Programs, and Mountain View Strategic Wealth. Anyone that attends our business after hours will be given a ticket to attend the Renegades game immediately following. There's so many great events happening in and around the Hudson Valley, including the Great Hudson Valley Scavenger Hunt, the J.P. Morgan Chase Hudson Valley Hot Air Balloon Festival, and so much more. All you need to do is visit our website at dcrcoc.org. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to be joined by Angela Lenuto and Allison Morelli. Hang in there. We'll be back right after this. Dad, where is he sending you? Well, he sends all his patients to the same cardiology group. Do you know anything about them? Oh, honey, he's been my doctor for a long time. I trust his opinion. Dad, I really think you should go to a heart specialist affiliated with a leading hospital. Well, what do I say to him then? You say, take me to Vassar. Vassar Brothers Medical Center is recognized among the nation's highest performing hospitals for heart failure by U.S. News and World Report. Don't leave it to chance. Make it a choice. Learn more at takemetovassar.org. And welcome back to the Hudson Valley Business Scene Show here on iHeartRadio. Now in the studio with us from the Angela Lenuto team at Coldwell Banker Village Green, it's Angela Lenuto and Allison Morelli, Associate Real Estate Brokers. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell us what's happening in that market out there. It's a little crazy. You hear different things. I'm seeing different things than what I'm hearing. So I want you to tell us what's going on in the real estate world. So that is the million dollar question that we get constantly. Honestly, Frank, I have to tell you the Hudson Valley market is still very strong. I don't care what they say out in the major media sources. I can tell you boots on the ground. We still have multiple offer situations and we do have that supply demand issue, meaning that we have low inventory, but we still have a very high demand for people looking both residential and commercial coming into the area. Angela, I agree. I'm seeing the exact same thing. And, you know, what I'm hearing in the media is totally different than what I'm seeing here in the Hudson Valley. We were just talking a little bit about off-air, the industrial vacancy rate here in Dutchess County, right around 3%. We have never seen a number like that here in the Hudson Valley. That means industrial space, a vacancy of 3%. I want you to think about just a number of years ago, going back 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, how many large-scale empty industrial buildings there are around in different complexes throughout the community. And your boots on the ground, you're telling us firsthand you're seeing the same thing in the real estate market. Go ahead, Allison. Yes, we, we definitely are. So it's true the um, sales are down. 
Um, however, value is up, home values are up, and sales are down because we have still a challenged inventory crisis. So people are uh, not selling for various reasons, but we still have buyers, we still have people wanting to get out of the city, um, we still have a very healthy and strong market. So if you are contemplating listing, uh, the summer market is going to be strong. Well, and also too, Frank, when you're looking at the commercial sector, right, you're absolutely right. I mean, 3% in Dutchess County, in the Poughkeepsie area, that is unheard of to have that low of a vacancy rate. And that's because what you're seeing is, is a lot of these municipalities are offering really good tax breaks. You know, you have your pilot programs, you have um, incentives depending on how many employees that you're bringing in with your business. And so that is enticing these larger companies to move and relocate, whether it be from the metropolitan areas or from the West Coast or the, your Midwest or Southern tier over to the Hudson Valley. Now, what does that do? That provides jobs for our members in our areas, right? For all of our residents. And it also brings people, more people into the area, which is going to now create more of a housing demand. So as you can see, it really works hand in hand with one another. Um, and in our area, what makes it so unique is that we really do not have a lot of new housing developments. And so you are seeing those industrial parks that are being renovated and turned into more work live communities right where they're only almost becoming like a container community are they doing something like that over in Hyde Park right now right so where you have stores and you have a place where you can live and a place where you can work so those things you're going to start seeing more frequently also, too, you're going to see more of the entertainment industry coming into here, your film, your production. We've been seeing that already. And again, that's because we're providing a lot of really good tax breaks for those who are in the film industry to come up here and shoot. And that's bringing a demand. So take a moment and just correlate the interest rate market with the real estate market. Obviously, there is a connection there. And what's happening with that relative to the Hudson Valley? interest rates are still at an industry low. Um, and quite frankly, and Angela and I say this all the time, you date the rate and you marry the house. You can always refinance at a later time. So we don't really see, we're not seeing the interest rates, the elevated interest rates affecting our industry as much as the media would like you to believe. Right. Also too, the banks are becoming very savvy right? So they know that your interest rate is higher, right? That we're dealing with this whole Fed rate, this back and forth. It's going down, it's going up. It's like a roller coaster. And what they're doing is they're providing programs for their consumer, for people who are looking to buy a home or to refinance. They're, they're really creating some really good programs. Some of these banks are making programs that are almost like a cash value, where you're coming in and you're competing with another buyer who might be cash. You're actually apples to apples, right? And it's a certain program that the bank is doing where it'll look like a cash on paper, but you're really getting a financed option. So they're really, really trying to work with the consumer right now. And I think that that is helping us in the industry. But of course, everybody got used to the two and a half percent, right? Or the three two three percent interest rates. And now they're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And really, Back in the 80s, what was it, like 18%, mm -hmm. I think it was? So this is nothing. <laughs> yeah. For our listeners who may be just tuning in here on the Hudson Valley Business Scene Show and iHeartRadio, you're listening to the Angela Lenuto team, Angela Lenuto and Allison Morell, and it's the Angela Lenuto team at Coldwell Banker Village Green. We're talking about the real estate market and what's happening and trends here in the Hudson Valley, which we think is very unique to us here in the Valley and in New York State, all throughout the country. I always tell folks when they talk to me and ask, hey, should I buy now? What do you think? Is now a good time or should I wait till the costs come down in the housing market? And there's that correlation again between the rates. You know, the housing market has really flattened. It really isn't rising anymore. If anything, it's softened just a little bit with prices. But, you know, those interest rates have climbed. So it's all relative. You know, you're either going to pay more in points or you're going to pay more for the house. So Take your pick. That's Which is right. it going to be? So, and also, too, think of it this way, right? Everyone who's waiting for those rates to go down, when those rates go down, you're going to have much stronger competition. Multiple offer situations, you're going to end up paying more. So, 
to me, if you have this opportunity where you might be able to negotiate on a home or a commercial building a little bit, you might as well take advantage of that versus sitting back and waiting because you don't know what's going to happen. The, and I'm going to give you a prime example of this, Frank. Back before COVID occurred, right? You had buyers. We had a bunch of buyers who were kind of like on the fence a little bit. They were like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll wait. COVID happened. It got crazy. Then it was like, ah, I'm going to wait. Now here we are three years later. They're still waiting. And now there's nothing on the market Mm -hmm. that they loved like they did back when the pandemic was first here and when it started to like sizzle out a little bit. So if you like a house or you love a location or you need to relocate, you know, just just pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for it to be, you know, for those interest rates to go back down. Because honestly, I don't really see them going back to under three. No. So take a moment, talk about some of your favorite listings. Actually, think about that for a minute. Think about a couple of your favorite listings. We'll go back to that. But before that, I just want you to take a moment and talk about the move meter tool, a new tool that you have on the website. Because I think this is really neat. Yeah. So we have this really cool tool on our website, AngelaLenuto.com. And it's called the move meter. And the tag is, where should your next move be? And, you know, with this move meter, it'll help get you to your dream location. You're going to compare locations based on living affordability, your average home prices, and other important factors. And it's going to help you decide. So if you want to move from Poughkeepsie to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, you know, you can check the move meter and see, is it really going to be, you know, good for you to do. This is something that Coldwell Banker provides and we are the only ones, you'll see no other agency that'll have this move meter on their website. So definitely check it out. It's a fun tool to play with and I I enjoy it. I think it's really cool. So what are some of the measures that are on there that it goes into? It gives you some data, which I think is pretty neat. Yeah, so you have here, you have housing affordability, quality of life, job market strength, which I think is a really cool because if you're relocating, a lot of times you want to see what's the job market there and living affordability. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you an overall move score. So I did from Red Hook to Brooklyn. I did a reverse, right? So if you're moving from Red Hook, New York to Brooklyn, New York, they're saying that your overall move score is 81. And that says that it covers a whopping 111 miles and could be a smart move if you're looking at value job market strength and quality of life. So, (laughs) and then you'll go down and you have a detailed report, which will really give you the nuts and bolts of everything. And it'll just help you make a decision of where you want to go. And you can only find this tool, which is known as the move meter on AngelaLenuto.com. The website is Angela. L-A-N-U-T-O dot com. Or you can always find Angela's website right through our website at the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce simply by visiting DCRCOC dot O-R-G. Put in Angela. She will be the first to come up. It's the Angela Lenuto team at Coldwell Banker Village Green. We're talking about the trends in real estate here in the Hudson Valley. Some great tools on their website. And now I'm going to bring it back to some of your favorite listings. Let's talk about those. You had a moment to think about it. Sure. So I'm going to throw it to you, Allison, first. I mean, I couldn't possibly pick any one listing as being my favorite, but I'm a mid-century modern gal. And we listed a beauty in uh, Salt Point, which we put on for seven 95. We camped there over the weekend. We had about 40 yeah. showings, multiple offers, and it sold for over 900000 <laughs> So any home that sells wow. that over asking is a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Plus the style. Of course. That had to be some special property. Yes, it was yeah, gorgeous. It was. Angela, what about you? You must have a favorite one that's out there right oh, now. You know, I love them all. I think every property that we list is unique, and they always leave a little a little piece of my heart stays with each one at the closing table. And um, right now, we currently have two properties that I really like that are on the market. And one is in Red Hook, and it is on over 18 acres. And yeah, it's I can't a- afford that one, just for the record. I saw that one on the <laughs> website earlier. It is listed for <laughs> and it is a whimsical um, farm. I absolutely adore it. It was lovingly built by the owner and it has like a compound and it's got a pond and just really set back. You don't feel like you're in Red Hook. You really feel like you're just whisked away in the far off land. And then we have another one in Palinville that I really love, Total Opposite Spectrum. This one's a more contemporary, got a lot of natural light, clean lines, um, and that one 
one is listed for 1.185. And that one is, again, too, just really engulfs you in nature. So I just love the different styles. And like I said, right now, those two are kind of like tugging at my heart. And then, you know, I am a commercial gal, so I love commercial land. And I ha- we have this really cool property that's listed right off the thruway exit. It's vacant land, over six acres. Dad, where is he sending you? Well, he sends all his patients to the same cardiology group. Do you know anything about them? Oh, 